Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Shu. In this video, I'm going to show you what's new in the Slideshow module in Lightroom 6 and Lightroom CC. The big new features are panning and zooming and the ability to add up to 10 music tracks, but there are some smaller new features as well. I'll work top down here. Here in the Layout panel, we have a new Aspect Preview option. Now in Lightroom 5, and by default here, Lightroom previews our slideshow at the proportions or aspect ratio of our monitor, because it assumes you're going to play the slideshow from within Lightroom. However, you also have the option to export a video at different proportions. So now we can preview our slideshow at those proportions. We can choose from 16 by 9, which is typical for monitors and televisions these days, or 4 by 3, which is the aspect ratio of the iPad and probably other devices. Now, with a slideshow like this with a white border, it doesn't add a lot of value for me. However, if I'm using a slideshow design where my photos are zoomed to fill the frame, then the aspect ratio I choose is going to affect my crop decision on each of the photos. So it's very handy. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my simple white slideshow here and continue down to the next new feature. Now in Lightroom 5, we could add one MP3 or MP4 music file. Now we can add up to 10 here in the new music panel. I'll click on the plus and out here on my computer, I'll go ahead and select a couple music tracks. I'll click on choose. Now they'll play in this order, but I can click and drag to rearrange the tracks. I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to remove it. To add more music, I just click on the plus again. Now the playback panel has been rearranged a bit to introduce some new features here. Manual is the old simple slideshow where you advance the slides with the arrow keys on your keyboard. It doesn't support music, it doesn't support panning and zooming, etc. Automatic is where we have the full suite of features. As before, we could set the length of our slides, or we could have Lightroom calculate how long each slide stays up so that the music ends at the same time that our slideshow ends. Let me go ahead and preview this slideshow quickly, just to give you a basis for comparison. So in this slideshow, each slide is up for four seconds, and it fades for two and a half. I'll go ahead and stop this. What's new is the ability to sync the slides to the music, in which Lightroom actually analyzes the rhythm of the music and advances the slides with it. Let's preview this. So the slides are advancing faster in this case, along with the music. For the music that I've tried so far, I have found that they do tend to move fairly fast, but it can certainly establish a mood. I tried a Pink Floyd rock song and they were really jumping. Okay. Let me go ahead and go back to the first slide here so that we're starting from the beginning and we'll take a look at pan and zoom. If you've ever watched a Ken Burns documentary, you know what this is. Now the slider determines whether the effect is very subtle or whether there's a lot of panning and zooming. I'll set it on high and let me go ahead and turn off the sync to music here and I'll hit preview. So on this photo, it's zooming in. On the next photo here, it's zooming out. And you can see it's kind of a mix. I'll go ahead and stop this. Now we don't have the ability to set where in the photo it zooms into or whether on particular photos it zooms in or zooms out. We just have this simple setting at this point, but it's a nice first step. Now I almost forgot to mention that we do have this one slider that controls the amount of movement in the pan and zoom. So move it towards low for less movement. The last new feature down here at the bottom is the ability to set the quality for playback within Lightroom. As you're designing your slideshow, in previewing the slideshow here and when I play it, Lightroom has to build the photo files for this. As I'm designing the slideshow, if I want to save time, I can set this to draft mode. On the other hand, I can also go the other way and th set this to high for my final playback within Lightroom. Note that this quality setting does not affect export quality. 
it's simply preview and playback from within Lightroom. So that's what's new in the Slideshow module. For complete instruction in the Slideshow module, together with the book, print, and web modules, check out my Producing Great Output series, available on my website at laurashoe.com.